John Estevez is live with this story. John. Yeah, according to that security footage, he was in there for almost up to two hours and he wasn't very picky, or I should say he was picky about the things that he was stealing. The store owner was able to ID him because he left his phone. It's 4.10 in the morning on Thursday. A hooded man breaks into the Black Sheep Boutique. It's just unsettling. I'm speaking with Sarah Lawrence Harmon. She owns the store. She's upset. It feels very violating um, just knowing he touched everything in her office and took personal items. My checkbook, our camera that has photos of us on it, uh, my engagement pictures are on there. She says cameras caught Terry Drury going through their office, being almost selective about the things he's taking. Also took it as an opportunity to pick out things probably for his girlfriend. And put on this mask sometime in his stay there. He was there for nearly two hours before an employee showed up and found the damage. Literally tore it apart, searching for things. They stole my Fendi bag. Sarah says he used this ax to get inside and literally did a number on the place. About $7,000 worth of merchandise, personal items, money, um, and tech but he did leave his phone. I'm a snoop and I went through it. That and the clear video evidence leads her to believe it is Terry Jury. In fact, I spoke with Tim Means, who's the lead burglary detective with the Tulsa Police Department. He says Jury is their person of interest. Criminals, a lot of times, keep doing the same thing that got him in trouble to begin with. Jury has been facing burglary charges since the 1990s, all the way up until now. He's currently on probation for a conviction in 2018. Sarah's hoping to get a return on her things and Jury to be caught. Could be worse, <laughs> I guess is my mindset. Um, it's kind of hard to complain about all of this when everything else that's going on in the world. Um, and, it, you know, it does, it, it sucks because it comes out of my pocket. It